the morning to you. It's Sunday the 18th of May, which means um, the BTS are holding their exhibition at, at the Rico Arena in Coventry, and uh, I'm about to make my way there, uh, see what they've got, possibly add a couple more teas to my collection, um, and yeah, as soon as I get back I'll, I'll show you what I've, uh, I've bought, and um, I'll try and get a little bit of video, like I said in the last uh, video I made, I'll, I'll try and get a little bit of footage from while, I, while I'm there. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it's like and uh, yeah I'll, I'll discuss at the end of this video so uh, hold tight hope you enjoy it I'll see you in a bit so I'm at the exhibition and I thought I'd have a quick spin round to show you guys what it looks like how big it is you can see the amount of spiders are just at, are just at this table uh, loads of stuff on offer I'm impressed so far and yeah you can probably get quite a few uh, invertebrates under this roof as with people so this has got to be the creepiest looking spider I've seen so far, this orb weaver. It's a true spider, so not just tarantulas are for today. You've got beetles, yeah, you've got all sorts really, this table. Um, have a quick look down to show you how much I've got left to see. Just queue in, it's very crowded here, but um, well worth it, there's plenty on offer. Lots of choice and it's just decisions now. I'm rubbish at making decisions. Yeah, pick a spider, any spider, and I can guarantee probably find it here. Um, I think this is the spider shop this store. Uh, loads, loads on offer. Not just tarantulas, uh, there's some scorpions here somewhere. Um, but again, absolutely brilliant. I'm really impressed actually, really impressed. I'd recommend it for anyone. So I'm back from the BTS exhibition uh, in Coventry and it was it was fantastic I had a really good time and uh, yeah brilliant um, if you haven't been uh, I hope the uh, well if you haven't been before or if you've missed out this year so uh, I hope the the clips I've put on have given you an idea of what it's like um, and it's absolutely brilliant the you know, amount of things you can get you know from tarantulas to true spiders um, to beetles, praying mantis, centipedes, millipedes, you name it, any invert, any insect or arachnid or whatever, you'll probably find it there. Along with enclosures, um, <laughs> t-shirts, decorations for your enclosures, jewellery, books, uh, yeah, really, really good exhibition. Uh, if I could give you any advice, try and get there nice and early. The doors opened at 11 today and we got there for about probably about 10 past 11 I think it was and ended up queuing for about 20 to 30 minutes and when we got in you know, it was quite crowded uh, you had to do a lot of waiting around to see what was at the tables but it was well worth it you know got me a little souvenir in the wristband which was put on nice and tightly um, and yeah I treated myself to an avicularia versicolor sling and um, a pocletheria regalis juvenile uh, which I've Put in their enclosures and I'll put a little clip at the end of this video to uh, to show you and a few photos as well at the very end um, so yeah I think that's about about it it was a it's well worth going to if you've never been before uh, the main concern while well, I remember the main concern I had was getting them back in the car it's been quite hot today and uh, I did worry that it might be a bit hot in the car being basically a tin can on wheels but um, they seem to have, like I say, they seem to have settled in really well. They're looking quite healthy. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on them uh, in the near future, along with the other teas I've got, and just to show you how they're getting on. And hopefully, the uh, they'll they'll both grow up healthily and and survive these these early stages of their lives. I think the juvie will probably be okay. It's the the versicolor that I'm uh, more wary about. But uh, yeah. I'll keep you updated, I'm, I'm babbling on uh, now, so yeah, I'll put the clip on of the two spiders at, at the end of this, and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. So here is my avicularia versicolor um, sling, it's made its way down its enclosure, and uh, having a little, a little explore now in the... Uh, in the substrate possibly a little drink it's been very hot today 
I was a bit worried about bringing them back and how they'd fare, but they've both uh, arrived safely. And uh, in my little tub is its malt. I've been told it's on its fourth malt now. There or thereabouts, anyway. So hopefully it'll be a little, um, a little survivor. Next, I have. Uh, here we go. The Indian, uh, Indian ornamental tree spider, the Poclotheria regalis. Excuse the mess on the side of the tank, and you can just about see it. It's taken uh, shelter under its cork bark. And have a little milk lid, milk uh, bottle lid, to give it a little bit of water to drink. But yeah, very happy. They both seem to be settling in now. And uh, I look forward to doing some more videos on these guys sooner rather than later. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.